I have been requested to do a recording of uh, individual instruments, players, to put together after we get done all of the recordings, mix it down, and then put it out to CD. And of course, we'll, we'll take it to a CD and then try to market this whole project, which is kind of an abstract art project, visual and audio. And it's combined, and it's going to be actually pretty interesting. We're following the visual. So you, you, you are going to listen, I mean, you're going to hear, you're going to see what's going on, and you're going to take your instrument and try to follow what's going on with the water and with the leaves, whatever it is. And Does he give you a key to play in or no. any kind of a rhythm uh, meter? No, it's completely, completely up to the musician to follow whatever the subject is they're, they're listening to or watching. You're, you're less constricted as far as chords and, and changes and melodies and, and uh, modes go, you, 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 have, you can go anywhere. So it kind of gives you a freedom that you don't have when you're playing, say, a commercial job or if you're playing with somebody that is um, recording a tune or doing original tunes and stuff, you're, you're, you're not there. It's, 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 you're way, way outside of that. So the visual is basically um, another musician or another instrument that you're going to be playing along with that you have to be compatible with in the sense that you would be compatible with other musicians in a group. And, and the, the, the primary tenet in music is listening.